Hi, I'm Heiko, and this is a short video to show you how PNode works. PNode allows you to remote control Keynode from your Pebble. It's available on GitHub, and if you clone that repository, you will see that it consists of two parts. First, a watch application I already installed on my Pebble, and second, a small Python script. So that Python script will teach you that you have to use the pebble command that's part of the pebble SDK in order to work and the readme will tell you both how to install the pebble SDK and how to install the watch app on your pebble. Now if you follow the instructions you will see that there are basically two ways to connect your Mac with your pebble and the first option is to use your smartphone. Well during development, that's the best option you have, but on stage at conferences, Wi-Fi isn't the most reliable thing you can have. So I'm going with a second option, and that is uh, using a direct Bluetooth connection between your Pebble and your Mac. You will find your Bluetooth address in the settings and then about dialog on your Pebble. And if you put that into the command, the Pebble command from the SDK will establish a direct connection, a Bluetooth connection between your Mac and your Pebble. And that's reliable, it doesn't require Bluetooth, and uh, it even works without your phone. So yes, once that's done, I'm going back to Keynote. And well, if you go there and start the aforementioned Pnode application, you now have control over your slide deck. So each time you press the down button, it will go to the next slide. And when you push the up button, it will go to the previous slide. That's about it. There's nothing more in that application except the time you see. So the large number will show you how much time you spend in your keynote presentation, whereas the lower number will show you how much time you spend at the current slide. So if you go to the next slide, the lower number will be reset, whereas the large number, well, just goes on until you're finished. So that's about it. You can uh, fork and clone it on GitHub. And if you have any questions regarding that little tool, uh, feel free to contact me on Twitter.